Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creative Process and in today's video, we want to create this poster design inside Photoshop. If you look at this, we have used a portrait image and applied a nice color effect to your design. We have applied some color tones on the face and the skin. So let's look at how to create this effect. So first of all, let's open a new document, Photoshop document and we'll be using this portrait image. I'll just drag and drop it to a file and let's scale it up. Let's scale it up like this and place it around here. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to remove the background color. So to remove that, go to select and color range. And here, we'll be uh, making the face area white and the background black. So with the shift pressed, just make it more whiter. Remove all the black patches on the skin. With the shift pressed, click, click increase the whiteness like this and by chance if it's gray out the background uh, with the all press just click on that and it will automatically uh, take the black color so here just make it whiter and with the all press make the background black with this and uh, we can change the fuzziness here to make it more darker uh, or lighter so here and with the shift press just let's work out on the face once you are done uh, getting all the black and white color just click ok and this will make a selection nice selection now selecting the layer let's apply mask and here you can see a few portion are still masked out so to edit that let's click on the thumbnail with the all pressed and this will again convert the image into black and white now with the eraser tool let's it is out the black region so with the 100 percent opacity and with a soft brush tool let's select the soft brush tool let's apply white color maybe let's choose a hard brush tool and let's go to brush and let's reduce the spacing and now let's apply it here remove all the black patches from the face like this so zoom it in and work out properly this step will give a nice effect to your design because it will uh, show all the details and we need details in our design. So going into it and working it properly will give you a nice effect. And if you see here on the black patches, we have got some white patches. So let's remove that with the brush tool and reduce the brush size, set the opacity around 100 and let's remove this white patches. this here let's remove this let's remove this part let's zoom it in and let's clean up the edges and with the eraser tool let's do the same for the white region so just go along and make it like that here let's see the white over the ear and the hair so let's for here let's choose soft brush tool and let's do the adjustments like this let's make it whiter for here and here around the forehead region apply white color and select this brush again and do the details here let's open reduce the spacing and again go with that now if you go out again with the all press click on the thumbnail and we can see a clean image here and if you see some extra hairs you can remove that just use the brush tool and just paint it over here and remove the these extra hairs from the background and before going to the next step let's change the background color to black so let's open unlock the layer and select black color using the color picker and apply it with the all backspace and now we can see a nice uh, image with a black background now let's do some adjustments let's add a contrast so I'll add a adjustment layer brightness and contrast adjustment layer here I'll increase the contrast value like this and let's decrease the brightness a little bit and if you check out our previous design let me hide all of these and you'll see what I have done in this image so here was our 
original image and first I apply brightness and contrast adjustment layer so let's see okay let's do some adjustments and the I play around with the brightness and contrast so if you check out this is the image let's reduce the little bit more brightness and here we get a nice contrast so next thing will apply hue and saturation so let's choose hue and saturation and apply colorize so take this colorize option it will give a single color tone to the image and here let's set it around 20 and let's apply some bluish color tone like this if you check out our original image i'll just hide out this layer and this is the color tone we have given to this image so this is the same color tone we are giving let's give it a little like that now next thing we'll apply some darker color shades on the image so for that let's add a new layer and change the layer mode to overlay and now with a brush stroke with a black color selected let's apply some color so i'll give i'll give some uh 30 percent opacity and let's paint it so let's use soft brush tool and start painting it over the image paint it over the ear hair region neck and forehead so let's just drag and apply it like this with the 100 percent opacity let's give some bluish tone over there and we got a nice purple tone on the face we want this dark tone to this image and if you check out this is what we applied to our previous design and this is what we have applied to our recent design you can use the eraser tool if it's uh, if you see some extra colors that have been applied so soft brush tool selected and take very less opacity and erase out the extra color tone applied brush tool apply it properly forehead region darker and i think this is good let's apply some light tone over the nose now we'll apply some color patches on the face like it's have been applied on the face so to apply that let's add a new layer here and let's choose pink color like red pink color and change the blend mode to overlay and with the brush tool choose this brush this one uh, particle brush increase the size and around let's choose this one around this much okay so let's apply it now 100% opacity and here we go so let's apply it around here here let's choose this brush and increase the opacity brush size like that let's choose this one increase the brush size and now apply it like this and with the eraser tool select this brush and let's erase out some because uh, here we got a bunch of color tones so I'll erase it out so 100% opacity erase out the extra colors and again with the brush tool let's apply it properly like this here in the neck portion let's apply click and drag if you want to apply it more like that and in the forehead region also like that so it's looking like it has been applied on the skin and with the if you see extra you can use the eraser tool and just delete it out like that brush tool apply it properly eraser tool erase out the extra let's see if it's good here is our original image so we have given a light tone here and the density is very less so let's reduce some density here erase the tool hide it out 
erase to remove it okay now we'll apply the next color so to apply that let's add a new layer and for this let's change the blend mode to color and let's choose some bluish green stone so here let's choose this portion and choose this color and now with the brush tool let's apply it here so around here you can see that color tone coming up on the face nicely it has been it's looking like the color is already applied on the skin and here also let's apply some on the forehead region like that and around nose as well so giving a nice effect at the neck portion as well so next let's apply some let's duplicate this layer and change this to color dodge and this will highlight the region will reduce the opacity so that it shows some glossy effect like that so you see it is giving a nice glossy effect on the skin now uh, let's work on our eye so you can see uh, while applying the contrast applying that our eyeball is now darker so let's make it brighter I'll just duplicate this layer so let's duplicate this and I'll bring it on top okay and this one uh, this one I'll apply some mask so let's remove this mask region and we got this normal image now with the pen tool let's trace out the image so we'll trace out this eye region click and drag and follow along the eye path like that so let's choose from here and finish it around here and let's remove the fill color for now and let's follow this again so selecting that follow this path here click and drag and make a little bumpiness and finish in the same way we'll create one more shape so let's trace this out so click click and drag then one more click around here let's make this this and let's finish it around here so we have traced both the eye now let's with the control press now with the control press click on the thumbnail of this shape this will make a selection and after that select this portrait image and apply mask in the same way make a selection of this eye also and selecting this mask shape apply alt backspace or control backspace this will apply the color and mask out the region and command D to deselect the region now you can see the image border are quite sharp and to make it quite softer double click on this and properties panel under properties panel let's increase the feather a little bit so that it blends out properly with our image and uh, we can see some reddish tone on the image so let's remove that color so for that apply first apply hue and saturation and make it black and white and clip it to our image so with the all pressed just you see this icon just click on that and it will clip only to this image and after that apply one more hue and saturation that is brightness and contrast adjustment layer not the apply brightness and contrast adjustment layer and clip it again and here let's increase the contrast and brightness so you can see we have added nice effect to our image and Let's check out our previous design and after that what we have done is we have added some text and all so let's add the text before that let's do a proper placement I'll select everything except the background with the control pressed and let's reposition this so I'll just command T and scale it up and place it around here enter and after that let's type out text so text to photoshop tutorial command t and scale up the size enter this one let's change the color to uh let's say dark pink reddish tone a little bit like that and choose a font nexa bold regular font Let's duplicate one more and 
type out ESCAP escape. For this, let's change the color tone to white and scale the size. Command T or Control T to activate the transform option and place it just below it. Let's do this like this. And Command T, scale the size, enter. Let's duplicate one more. Command T, place it around here. Let's type poster design, P O S T R D E S I G and poster design. And let's scale down the size, Command T or Control T. And for this, I'll choose a Nexa regular light, Nexa light regular. And do the final placement with the text and the image. After this, if you need to do some adjustment with the color and all, you can go in there, do the adjustments, give some different color tones and you'll get a nice effect. You can apply this effect to any portrait image. Let's hide this out. Select all this and Command T, scale up the size and place it around here. So finally, we have completed creating a nice poster image inside Photoshop. We have used a simple portrait image and applied this effect using some layer options and adjustment layers and giving this nice glossy effect, adding a nice color to the face. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you want more of designing or you are looking for more Photoshop tutorial like this, don't forget to follow this channel, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you like this video, click the like button. Thank you.